Hey everyone, Parker here with Able Shepherd. I just want to take a minute and talk about the holster, the Safari Land 578 that we recommend for the duty belt. This holster has positive retention, so there's a button on it that actually has to be hit in order to be able to draw. And the way that it is, the way that it's set up, is promoting a good solid grip. If you actually don't have a good grip, you won't be able to draw that pistol. Looking at this holster and the features that it has, it comes usually with a paddle, which would you be able to use just on normal pants, things like, or normal clothing, throw it over uh, top of your belt, use it that way. And it also comes with the belt loops to be able to change it out and then attach it to a belt permanently. When we affix it to a belt, we have the ability to cant the holster, it means change the degree of it. There's three positions, so there's straight up and down, slightly canted, and then just a little bit more drastic. Depending on preference, we do recommend at least a little bit of a cant for when you to, when you draw, you're actually getting a much solid grip onto it. With a pistol inside that holster, this button actually gets hit by your middle finger. So when you get a good solid grip as high as you can in that back strap with your thumb down before you draw, that good solid grip will actually hit that button and allow you to draw that pistol easily and very quickly. Some of the old folklore was that if you have a positive retention of buttoned holster, it will actually restrict you in a time perspective to be able to defend your life or defend someone else. That is actually negated with this style of a holster. With the grip lock system, as long as you have a good grip, it will come right out of the holster. So there is no time hindrance or no hindrance from that button with your draw. So besides the paddle, being able to put this on a belt or any transfer it from multiple clothing, you can actually use the included belt attachment that would permanently affix it to your duty belt. It has the three positions to be able to adjust that degree of angle or degree of cant on that holster, and it will actually attach to up to two and a half inch belt. If you use that one and three quarter inch belt as we recommend, don't take the little adjuster piece out and it will actually kind of pinch the belt into the belt loops and affix it to that belt so it can't move or it can't travel on you. If you were moving or running or fell, they won't actually move on you. One of the other items that we recommend for the holster is a spacer kit. So this comes in a couple different versions. There's a T-spacer kit and then just three pucks. Just to separate the holster for about a quarter of an inch off the body, just a little bit more. When you start to draw, we don't want our thumb to touch anything with our thumb down. The spacer allows that holster to come off just a little bit to give us a little bit more clearance to be able to get a good solid grip before we draw. Thanks for taking a moment to hang with us and look over the Safari Land 578 Grip Lock System holster that we recommend for your duty belt. That's the outside the waistband holster that you would have on your belt that you would throw over top of your underbelt. It would be in your vehicle or as you're going to train, that sort of thing, not meant for concealment. This is the outside the waistband. We hope to see you soon. Take care of one another.